So the drive I have to make today is uh, shorter. So I might have to make this a t uh, continue my rant talk on the way back, which is fine. You're, I'm not, you guys, uh, nobody will even know. So I don't even know why I would say that. It's also kind of snowing today. <laughs> Love Canada. Don't rock you box. Okay, uh, you know what drives me crazy? Kid shows that fell off the face of the earth. I'm talking about the fucking weird ones that are, that are maybe just in Canada or like just on like CBS Kids or like the underground cartoon networks or whatever. George Shrinks. I feel like a lot of these are just Canadian, but George Shrinks. That show about that tiny little guy. He was just a, sh he was just a small guy. It was like, the show was almost kind of like um, Stuart Little, except with an actual kid who was just tiny. And the one episode that stands out in my head was the episode where there was like a, and also the, the family was just fucking weird. Like the dad was like an inventor or something? No, actually the dad was a jazz musician. I can't remember episode where there was like alien robots with one eye running around. And then like George and like his like, not girlfriend, but like, love interest, I, I always thought they were like a love interest, um, were just like kinda, I don't know what they were trying to do, round them up? There was like a lot of them, and like the, I could hear the little noise that they made in my, in my head, it was like, blurble bleep, burp, 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 burp. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, but this was a show that was kinda scary, there was like this one character, the scary character's name was Cheese, and it was this guy right here insert fucking picture of scary cheese who would always fucking drink chocolate milk like a fucking savage coco was terrifying coco did not compare to cheese looking back on it coco was not even that bad yeah she was a little annoying and whatever but fucking cheese i can't fuck cheese and she just fucked around and just like started shit with blue I also loved Blue. Blue is the best. Full name was Blue Regard Blue K Kazoo. <laughs> so cute. This bitch, her name was Duchess. She was terrifying too. I don't know why I was, was allowed to watch all these terrifying shows with all these terrifying creatures. Oh, this show was one that kept me up at night and I was like researching forever. Jacob Tutu. This, I told, this show I know it was totally Canadian because it was just like... <laughs> When I was searching this show, I was literally typing in like Canadian hockey show cartoon, kid likes playing hockey, um, he has like a big family. I just couldn't think of the name for the life of me. And it was like taking me so long to find it. And when I found it, I was like, oh my god. And also the theme song for that show was a fucking bop. That was another reason why it was stuck in my head. And I also found out it was only on TV for like three years, like 03 to 06. Yeah, he was like a goalie. I remember that. I also remember having like the biggest crush on his older brother because he had like blue hair and he had like a leather jacket and he was like a bad boy. Uh, yeah, his name was Daniel, I found out. Uh, yeah, I know the animation, like when I was young, he looked hot, okay? Don't. Also, he had an older sister and her name was Marfa. What the fuck? Like, what? Ooh, this is also probably a Canadian one. Katie and Orby. This is weird. And it was about a, g a little girl and an alien, a pink alien. And it was just normal. Like, her family just... Also, the noise that he makes is, like, oh, like, stuck in my head. Like, oh, and the animation was so weird. Because it wasn't, like, animation. Like, it was, like, image by image. Like, if they were walking, it was, like picture of them with their left foot, picture of them with their right foot, like going and their, their voices I can just hear in my head. Oh, Cleo and the Misfit Unicorns. I also swear to God that was a book. Because I can like remember like the fucking unicorn and like the way they were. I don't remember the unicorn being yellow though. And when I was like researching like these cartoons, she's fucking yellow, but I was like, there's no way. She was definitely like pink or white or something. But whatever. Okay. 
if the camera angle is not the same and if I look different and sweaty and gross it's because I'm working all freaking day so that's why oh I feel like I'm covered in sawdust um I don't know how to get out of here that's weird that you can't go out that way um let's go this way I guess um I can't even remember the last what I what I finished off with I think I was talking about freaking I don't even know I think I was talking about I can't fucking remember what I was talking about oh I think I was talking about Katie and Orby maybe hopefully um the camera quality is so much better here did I talk about Henry's world I think this is the right way I honestly don't know because I'm I have no idea where I'm going let's talk about Henry's world uh, Henry's World was about a cartoon. Oh my god, this bitch is struggling so much trying to talk about this. It was about a cartoon about this kid who ate magic carrots, and then he, like, got magical powers, and then he, like, went on adventures and, like, did crazy shit, but, like, every morning he would wake up and eat his carrots, and then he would just go off. I think, I don't even know, I think it was a weird family thing, too, where he, like, lived with his crazy uncle who, like, did science or something. I don't know. Oh, I know where I am. I forgot there was a this scary, you know, point, this scary mofuck whose name was Darwin and he was like the, the, um, the bully or whatever. I think this was a British TV show too. I think I watched a lot of British cartoons too as well. Used to meet me on the east side. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is the right way. What about Babar? Does anybody remember Babar? Just talking about this show makes me want to cry. It's like the cutest show about the elephants. That's another. This is another one where I don't know if it's like a Canadian one. Babar was like originally a French kids book by some guy named Jean. Um, it was like on HBO and like global television and stuff like that. And it was like a British TV show. I'm pretty sure, even though it was a French book, but they had, they had British accents, I remember that. And I remember it was started off with, like, somebody killing Babar's mother in the jungle, and then he got, like, taken in somewhere, and then taken in by that old lady, and then he was raised by a woman, and that's why he wears shoes and pants, and he has a family now. And he's the fucking king! He's like a king of something. Ugh, I love Babar. Babar is literally, like, Obama. They have the same energy. Yoloing, and it's totally fine. Hey, it's CTV. CTV News. Just a side note, I found this picture right here. That's not Bad Bar. I don't know what the hell that is, but that's not it. This is it. Did I talk about Jaker's The Adventures of Piggly Wink? That one, I'm pretty sure it's a Canadian. So this one was definitely a uh, PBS Kids channel. I feel like PBS Kids was kind of like poor kid channel. I don't know, it won a, like a daytime Emmy and stuff like that. So, and it was very Irish, like they had accents and stuff. Like I remember the grandpa was like, oh jeekers, the adventures of Piddly Wink. <laughs> so, anything. but it is so weird. It's so weird to think about the, like how you, thought the animation looked when you were a kid because it's so different than what it looks like now because I looked it up and like I remember it being so different and real like Madagascar I remember watching that and being like this fur on this fucking lion is the real deal like Shrek is so bad when you look back on it now cinematic masterpiece like in reality but like the animation is so not what I thought it was Especially Fiona. Like, she looks better as an ogre. Like, just the animation overall. Lord Farquaad? Gross. Ogres are like, whatever. They're like onions. <laughs> Way better now. Like, Rumpelstiltskin in the what, whatever... I don't even know if it's like the fourth one or whatever the fuck. Did there, is there five? I don't even know. Like, there's... I don't even know. I didn't know there was like a fifth Ice Age till like the other day. I need to get over. Can I get over? 
trying not to speed, but I'm speeding. It's too much. Like, they're well made or whatever, and I still love the characters and all that, but like, it's, it's, it's a lot. In my opinion, I think the first Ice Age movie was the best, I think. Um, I also really liked Dawn of the Dinosaur just because I really loved Buck. So yeah, that's my opinion on that. And also in the first one, there was a lot of like indu innuendos, innuendos and like adulty jokes that they don't have now. And they need to bring those back because kids are stupid and adults watch the movies too and we need to have fun. I think they did okay with Madagascar. This just became like a movie. Fun fact, I wasn't even talking into the mic the whole time because it wasn't even plugged in. Be trilogy or like a movie review on like whatever, what it was supposed to be like me talking about cartoons that fell off the face of the earth. Like fucking Jojo Circus. Also, there also used to be a show called like Boing Boing or something. Yeah, so apparently um, that show was called Gerald McBoing Boing. And it was originally a old book, and actually it was a Dr. Seuss book, and yeah. About this kid who couldn't talk and he could only make noises with his mouth. And when I think about it now, I feel like it's a lot like a hint on autism or something. I'm not really sure, but I find it really cute. But I also don't know where that show went. There was also another weird show about a kid who was just like a kid by himself. Yeah, I couldn't find that one. Even though I can still kind of see it in my head, but I can't find the exact version. But I did find this one, this show about Siamese cats, and they like paint with their tail. I don't even remember. It was, I don't know how to, Sagwa? Sagwa? I don't remember the name, like I don't remember ever saying the name of this show. Like I remember it though, but I don't remember. But I can't freaking remember. A lot of them, I don't even remember what they were about. Like, you can see the animation in your head. Like, you can see it in your head. It's burned in your brain. Especially for me. I watched a lot of TV as a kid. Maybe that's why I'm so fun now. I don't have a long drive like I used to going to school. Like, I'm literally home already and I don't even know what I talked about. I had a big giant list and I didn't get to anything. I talked about Boing Boing and that's about it. I don't fucking know. You know what drives me crazy? Time. I already talked about that. <laughs> um, it's really crazy when I can't fucking get my shit together. I don't know, but I guess... Did I talk about Daniel Cook? I don't even know. This is Daniel Cook on a bike and a plane, on a farm playing games. So I found a picture of Daniel Cook and Emily Young now. I mean, they look pretty much exactly the same, but it's still like, what? I also found this picture when I looked up Daniel Cook, and I thought that was him now. <laughs> That's not him. That's just some some guy. <laughs> Many places and friendly faces. Just lighting though is kind of like everything. I hate myself. Just kidding, I love myself. Wow, okay. Retrospect, I'm pretty sure all these shows taught me something. Like something at least, because I remember so many of them. And there's so many more shows I'm not even mentioning just because they're so like obvious like Rugrats like all those shows like Hannah Montana and like all those shows everybody already knows all those shows everybody knows did I say it did I put an S on the end of that I don't know I I need to fucking go man muscle maybe Okay.